this is Nans from Christopher Farm and today we are going to be doing two very simple tello recipes. Um, I have recently discovered tello, love, love, love everything that it does. Um, I will make a video later where we do um, a tello cream, but for today we are going to be doing a very, very cost effective tallow candle, um, which hopefully will keep the bugs at bay. So, I'm literally went scrounging around the house this morning to see what all I could find, and this is what I came up with. I had pre measured my tallow for my soap making, so, this is 240 grams of pure beef tallow. You'll see, I've got another little pre weighed out packet here which I will be using for the soap in the next recipe. Um, then we found these glasses, we had actually found them um, while we were still in the city during a garage cleanup that we had done and um, they don't drink very nicely, like the wine spills out if you move too much so I decided that they'll be my candles now. Then. What I also have is these little um, tongue depressors. You could use popsicle sticks, but I had tongue depressors. I am going to be using this to make a wooden wick, which has its merits. I will discuss that in a separate video. So what I've done in the meantime is I've sort of stolen some of the oil that I'll be using for my soap making and soaked my wooden wick in the oil and I'm just going to give it a shake off because we don't want oil dropping into the bottom of our candle that's not a crisis so I'm just standing my little stick up and then just to make sure that it stays where I want it to stay I'm going to be doing that so without further ado oh no it's not supposed to do that it will behave once the tallow is in, I promise. So without further ado, we're just going to take our pre-packaged tallow, put it into a little jar, which I will go heat up to melt it. Okay. So I'm just going to pop it in the microwave, literally just long enough for it to melt down and then I'll show you what our next step is. And while we're waiting for that, I have another, well I'm going to use this little stick as my stirrer, and I just have some peppermint essential oil. Um, just a word, word to the wise guys, if you're going to be using essential oils, especially when you start getting into the heavy mixes in that, please, please consult an aromatherapist. I am actually an aromatherapist by qualification, so I consulted myself. And next thing we're going to do is go get our tallow, mix up a little bit of our essential oil into the tallow and pour our candle. It's as simple as that. You can add colorants, give it a stir, give it a mottled look if you want to, but as you can see my glass is colored and quite striking in and of itself, so I'm not going to bother doing that. I think my tallow is ready, let me have a look. Okay, we are back with our tallow. Had I let it melt a little bit further, it would have gone completely clear in color, but for today's purposes, I don't need it completely molten. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my peppermint essential oil, which apart from being good for your sinuses and your circulation, is also very good at repelling little critters like flies and spiders. And I'm going to add about 30 drops. I want a nice aromatherapy smell. Um, you could add stuff for calming, for mood enhancement, for your bedroom, sleep enhancers, all sorts of different essential oils for different things. So 
I'm just going to hold this relatively steady for in. I'm going to take it up as full as I possibly can. That's almost exact. Maybe I can put a squidge more in. Okay guys, please don't, if you have a little bit left over like I do, discard it. Please, please don't be putting it back in, don't try and eat it, don't try and add it to your soaps unless you're really, really used to making them. It will muddle everything up, right? Now all that needs to be done is we need to very carefully put this aside, wait for it to solidify and write her up. So apparently it takes a while. You realize I'm filming this. Oh now. my god. Any second now you're gonna set your nail on. <laughs> you watch your nail. You're about yeah. to set your nail on fire. Don't blow it out. Oh, oh don't tell the people. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs>